guys, it's Jess here at the end of day four of the LA Poker Classic, and I am here with one of the ch big chip stacks heading into the penultimate day of play. A guy who seemed to just be wiping the floor with everybody today, and that is why you are Club WPT Player of the Day, Noah Schwartz. Wow. Well, what, 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 uh, this is amazing. I mean, this is, this is an honor to be Club WPT. Where's my peanuts? No, there's, oh. it, there's no peanuts. Oh. Oh, they're, they're not we sponsor never had anymore? Peanuts, okay, okay, all right, this is sorry, sorry. I was thinking about the almond pizza, but all right. It's all right. There's, there's no almonds, uh, there's no peanuts, but you do get to talk about your day, because I want to hear, the big hand for you was this pot with Larry Lippman. What happened there? Wow, yeah, actually it was, it has to be, this, this reminds me of like poker in 1995. Um, you, wait, time out. How old were you in 1995? I, I, mean, I mean 2005, 2005, 2005. Oh, okay. sorry. You like, see, my brain is A little eight-year-old Noah swindling the I would have been 12, game. but yeah, oh, okay. thanks. But yeah, actually, it was a really weird hand. Uh, we just got moved to the feature table, so we were down to uh, 27. Three, okay. three tables of nine, and uh, my very first hand, I'm going to cut off with pocket threes. I make a standard opening raise to 27,000. He's in a big line. We both have 1.1 million to start the hand. He makes it 102. So I'm like, well, you know, 75 more for a chance to get all his chips. Like, it's worth it. Let's take a shot, you know? And if I hit, I hit, you know? And uh, I also thought that there were a lot of a lot of ha lot of flops where I could possibly take the hand away from him. Okay. So I had a I had a plan going into the hand, and it came three, four, five, two clubs. So now I was overly excited. I was like, here we go, bingo! You know, I got the flop I wanted, and uh, he led 130. So obviously, I don't want to slow play. There's two clubs on the board. I don't want a club to come and he get him get scared or whatever. So I immediately made it uh, 278. And then he immediately just like proceeded to click it back to 478 with with 500 behind. And um, so now I realize that he obviously has an overpair, I'm thinking. So we yeah, we thought, so I just piled it in. And then he said, oh, it's time to gamble. Maybe I need to gamble. And uh, he, he thought for about five minutes and called me with the ace king high. You know, just for a gut shot for no, another no 500,000. Back, back door club draw, anything? Back door, nothing, red. Oh. Red as can be. And you were, you said thank you, and I said everyone called it a big Hanukkah present just in February. But you know, in this game, it's not over till it's over. So no. obviously, I had to fade the deuce ball, and then the turn came up for it was bye bye to Tomato King. Poor Tomato King. Yeah, poor Tomato King. But yay, no one's yay Schwartz. to Schwartzy. <laughs> yes, Schwartzy, yay yeah. Schwartzy. Yeah, it was nice. And now we're down to 18 here. You got 18. Uh, at the last event in Florida. So, more than likely gonna improve upon your last WPT cash, which will be nice. Yeah, ideally, I mean, yeah, I'm having a, I played seven events, I have five caches this year and one win. So I'm having an excellent year, I think I'm playing really good poker and, um, you know, ideally I wanna win, at least make the final table. Cause I have a few WPT final tables and no wins and, you know, it just takes a toll on you. I wanna win, but, but now that I learned how to win, I think I'm gonna win. I won, I won in the Bahamas in my first win, so now I'm ready well, to win right, again. That's you won a PLO Peace, event 5K PLO, at correct. the beginning of the year at PCA, and then yeah. have been posting some results. In, and I think we don't have to worry about jury duty. You're getting whisked off at the final table. I was happy to see you, just because I was afraid you were going to be locked up somewhere in Florida because you missed jury duty. Yeah, I, I called you were in. on call at jury yeah, duty. Yeah, I was on call, and actually someone called me the next morning. I played cash games the whole night, and someone called me at 9 a.m., and I played for 24 hours straight. And I'm like, listen, Mr. Schwartz, you need to show up for jury duty. So I had to fax a letter over saying, well, listen, this is why I missed jury duty. And then I had to call in a number every single day. And, um, and it's just, it was like an automated response. Said, okay, you're still on call. So I don't know. Maybe they don't want me anymore. Okay, well, we won't tell, don't pay no attention to exactly where we are, Florida judicial system. <laughs> don't worry about this guy. I'm, I'm sure he would make judgmental influence decisions and be a bad juror anyway. Bad juror, good poker player. It would be interesting. I just don't know, you know, reasonable doubt. Is the guy guilty 99%? I mean, what if I'm only 90% sure that he committed the crime? Can we convict him? Is that reasonable? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't understand. I don't know. All right, we'll go read up on the law and get ready for tomorrow. And in the meantime, you can at least know that you've got player of the day locked up. You got another cash under your belt, and hopefully we're gonna see you at yet another WPT final table. Thanks for your time, Jess. Amazing. All right, guys, if you wanna run like Schwartzy, get great Hanukkah presents, get lots of practice, head on over to clubwpt.com. You can sign up and get a two-week free trial today. I agree. I play on there. Do you?
WPT VIP is like having a backstage pass to the WPT because you get to interact with me and Matt. That's right. You also get to play for your share of more than 100000 in cash and prizes up for grabs every month. PubWPT.com. Never lose a dime playing poker. Guaranteed.